plunge that ass. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. And put him down. Victory achieved, people. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Noisy Boy here, and I'm back with some more Dark Souls Remastered. In today's episode, guys, we're going to be heading through to the Undead Burg and hopefully fight the Taurus Demon. But before we get started, guys, remember if you're new, if you're liking this series so far, remember to smash the like button to support my channel. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe because I love to hear your feedback and your comments in the comment section below. Now in the last episode we killed the Moonlight Butterfly just, picked up a few sets, uh, leveled up so we can use this with one hand, uh, which is what we're going to do, so we have to head this way. A uh, few other things we've got to talk about probably later on in the episode, but I'm kind of doing this in a bit of a, a different a, a different approach, so to speak. Um, a lot of people are expecting... Uh, uh, these uh, casters to be a bit squishy and a bit hard to do, but I think I'm showing that this is actually not as bad as everyone thinks it is. And if you're new to the the Soul series or a caster in general, and I really do um, encourage people to try the caster because they can be really fun and really powerful too. A lot of things that people say is that, especially at the beginning of the game, the caster can be a bit too squishy, a bit too weak when it comes to boss fights and stuff, but as you can see when you're one-shotting enemies like that I don't really believe them. I'm gonna drop off this guy first uh, just trying to remember where we gotta go I think we have to head on down this way first uh, this is probably just uh, an alternative way to uh, getting to the Undead Burg. We have picked up a few keys in the last episode. Actually, there is something we're gonna. F I'm not. Can't remember if I killed it already. There's actually a silver knight down there that I can't remember if I. I'm pretty sure I killed him. I just can't remember exactly if I did. I can't even remember where he is to tell you the truth. I'm pretty sure he is not down there. Pretty sure he's this way. I could be wrong. I'm sure he's down here. Because we picked up a shield from down here, but I think I may have killed him. Looks like I did. Ha! Huh. Yes, because he's guarding that shield, that's right, and there's actually a... Yes, there's a bonfire just here. And we'll rest that bonfire while we're here, just in case we die. Just in case. But we'll head on back up here too. Um, we actually have the master key, so we should be able to open the back way to the undead bird, coming from the opposite side. Now a lot of people might be like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, we're pretty much heading up there. Now you're supposed to head up there, through this way up there. As you can see that light up to the top um, is actually a way you got to go through that castle to the Undead Burg. But we're coming from this side. Which I guess you could say is unconventional, but if you head over to this side we come across an enemy which is going to be very hard. Um, so bear with me. Hopefully we can put him down. Remember to put on the grain ring for those flips because we're going to be doing some backstabbing. Now we're going to be fighting Havel the Rock. Now some people believe that this isn't Havel the Rock. I believe it is. Uh, but there is a way to actually beat this guy. Let's just hope he doesn't get me up against the wall to start with. He doesn't seem to want to... That's pretty much what you want to do, try and get him behind him. There 
doesn't like magic, that's for sure. Boom! When he goes down, hit that. And boom! As you can see, pretty easy stuff. Now you get Havel's Ring, which is very, very good. Um, which is going to help us a lot. This is pretty much the reason why I came up here. Now we can actually equip some good stuff because... Actually, I should probably show you Havel's Ring. Boost the maximum equipment load. Now it boosts it about 50%. Um, now there is a lot of lore behind this guy actually because as you can see... We're up at 75 down for equipment uh, load uh, in the middle column, a third column down from the top. Now if we unequip it, we'll see what we get. Now we're down to 50, so it adds on an additional 25 points, which is huge. Massive. We'll keep the poison ring on for now, but we can actually put some good shit back on us. Uh, we are going upstairs, so we want to put on some good stuff, I guess you could say. Uh, what do we need? 20... What's that? 35, 37, so we need about 15... We need about 18 to stay in quick rolls. So we could probably just equip the whole set if we really wanted to. 15... How do we look? Looking pretty snazzy, I guess. Snazzy. We'll check on... Maybe just the sorcerer hat for now. We need about 17, so what's that? 1.4. So looking pretty good with almost anything apart from that. I think we can still. Yes, we can still do that. Sweet. Just under, I think. So we need about 17.5, so that's not too bad. So we'll head on upstairs. So there is a lot of lore between around Havel the Rock. A lot of people believe. That that is Havel because the law states that a good friend uh, locked him up in a tower for his own sakes and everyone else's. But one thing that actually disproves that that is the actual Havel is that he never used to like to wear his ring, which was the Havel ring. So that's pretty much what disproves it. It's if you believe all that kind of stuff. So this is the kind of crap I hate where it does this. So you want to just. I don't know why it does that to tell you the truth, but we'll just put this guy down real quick. Let him roll on down, do his own thing. And we'll take out some of these other bastards. As you can see, we're doing some pretty good damage to everyone. Especially with Great Soul. Great Soul Arrow. I don't even need to go and fight these guys, but I just want to show the power that stands upon this tower. As you can see, wielding that one hand is actually pretty good too, so what we'll do actually is come down here next because we're going to go fight ourselves another Black Knight. Now these guys are pretty tough. But as you can see, we're a bit tougher and we've got the Chunk too, which is pretty damn good, man. That was a really, really quick fight. And we get the blue tear, sting, tear stone ring. Oh yeah, gotta love that. Taking out a black knight just like that. I don't know if that guy's the bane of a lot of people around here. Uh, don't think we need to go. We won't go there for now. We'll go upstairs because we're wielding a lot of power these days. Um, switch to this. I think. Head on up here as well. I'm going and I don't think it was this one, was it? I don't think it was. Was the next one up? I thought so. This is the boss door right there, but we're gonna need to take you out, my friend. And I got the chunk too, which is actually pretty sweet. Uh we're gonna have to go upstairs as well. Shouldn't be too bad. This is the boss fog door, so we'll go in here real quick. But instead of actually triggering the boss fight, we'll come up here first. 
I'm wearing the crimson set, looks pretty damn cool. And there's actually a story behind this crimson set too. Which is actually the armor set of Yolva, the sealer. Take out those two guys because they're just a pain in the butt. Oh shit, almost just rolled off the side. Good on me. We'll head on over here and try and trigger this boss to come out and play. And there he goes. Okay, we'll quickly run back here. Do the old plunging attack trick, which everyone already knows. But we're going to add a little spice to it. So he is just downstairs. Plunge that ass. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off! And put him down. Victory achieved, people! As you can see, we're doing the job. A quick plunge with some homing soul mass. We're doing some real damage now, guys. Now, that was probably... I don't know about you guys, but that was a very, very quick fight, and that's just showing the power of the sorcerer. So good. So good indeed. I don't want to head on through here, guys. Just buy any soul item as well. Pick you up. We'll head on down here next. Again, like I said before, we're actually heading through here in a round, bit of a roundabout way. Use the basement key to open that, and we will talk to one of the most popular NPCs in the game, Solaire of Astora. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> yeah, at first you think he's a bit of a weirdo, but... Oh, aha! So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Of course. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Yeah, why not? It pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. The white sign soapstone, which is just um, a way to put your sign down on the ground so people can summon you into their fights. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> oh yeah, he's cool man, I love that guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone else does too. Very, very popular figure in the Souls games, and uh, a lot of people actually thought that he might have been Gwyn's uh, firstborn son, but... As we know now, since Dark Souls 3 has come around, he is not. Now he doesn't seem to want to be a... Uh, very accompanying for us. Put them down real quick. Head on down here next. And we'll unlock a bonfire, just over here. That's actually the shortcut for the Umberdead Berg downstairs, but we'll head on up here next and... Uh, there's actually a bonfire across the way that we probably should unlock too. Little bastard. Pick up the claymore, which is a very awesome weapon. Very, very good weapon actually. Head on through here and we'll pick up this bonfire. Uh, there's probably no point in actually 
resting in it for now. But why not this spot too? Um, a lot of undeads through here. This is actually a... Believe it or not, this actually has a lot of lore behind it as well, but we won't worry about that for now. Uh, next up is going to be actually you know what I will I will sleep I will um rest here actually because we're actually gonna go and fight another black knight. I'll take out that guy first. Just so that our backs are you know all good. Now we're gonna head on up this town now. The trick to doing this I think uh, depending if I get it is actually being really quiet. Um, it probably won't work, because they've probably already, when they remastered, they probably gave them the ears of a fox and the eyes of a rodent. But, if we can... Got him! And he drops this chunk too, which is what we wanted. Alright, as you can see, those Black Knights are no trouble at all these days. I remember I used to be shit scared of those bastards because they were just tough as nails. So hard to beat them. And before they even realise what's going on, you put them down. All nice, tight night shot, which is always good. Now there's usually a dragon that comes through, as you can see from some of the scorch marks on the ground, but he's actually not here. Don't know why I haven't triggered him, maybe I'm just, uh, uh, been pretty damn, uh, lucky. Now, where were we supposed to go through here? There's like a little thing I was supposed to do and, you know, kind of do it like that, but you know, uh, done that, done that, just looking at a checklist and all my notes, so. Elm to Middle Bridge, Bonfire, King of the Ten, King of the Berg, here's the place where two shit are there, downstairs, okay. So we're going to go down here next, this is where we unlock the, um, the ladder to the bonfire. So, you can actually just roll down that way if you need to, but, that's pretty easy stuff I guess, but, uh, roll down here pick up this bonfire but before we do that I might actually kindle this one actually. I'll pop one of these to give me two. Because we'll try and kindle it twice to try and get ten and I'll drop one on me too. So then I can have to reverse hollowing and then kindle. So I've unlocked the shortcut to this bonfire and we've got you know, another bonfire too so we have to reverse hollowing to become human. And then we'll kindle it to about 10, I think, this is probably a good number. And then we're going to go to an NPC and hopefully just finish it off there. Actually, we probably don't even need to kindle it anymore. 10 should be more than enough for this area, I think. Which is probably a good idea, so... We'll head on over to these guys, take this guy out first. Kill old mate here. out pretty simply I guess and we'll head on over to those guys across the bridge put them down pretty easily and if you're worried about trying to beat those guys you can always just kick them to de-shield them and we'll head down here there's actually a guy down here too so you want to watch out Take him out quite easily as well. And we will head on back to this guy. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> Got a bit of a laugh on him, doesn't he? So, we want to buy just a couple of things. And we need to buy the residence key, I think. Just so it opens all the doors we need to. We'll buy the bottomless box too. Uh, he actually sells some pretty standard shit. Um, you know, all pretty. A lot of them are starting gear items. 
and even if you need arrows too uh, but what we're going to buy here is the chest armor might be wondering why but it actually has a bit of poise to it so and here's some other things too if you need to like actually we'll buy the orange we'll buy the orange guidance it actually you can actually write and view messages and rate them too so if you're going online you want to do it don't really need these I guess um <coughs> excuse me if you want more five arms throwing knives it's all good stuff um I don't really need anything else Thank you kindly. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll head on back to the bonfire to safety. And we'll probably end the episode there. As you can see, we did pretty good. Uh, smashed over the Taurus Demon. Uh, this item here is not that great. It's just a wooden shield, but just so you guys know what it is. Wooden shield just there, not too bad, I guess. We'll head on back upstairs, guys. I think we're doing pretty good for time too. Um, now the only reason why I wanted to unlock this bonfire is because if you die to the Taurus Demon, uh, you actually have to come back through here unless you can get back upstairs. So, well, I probably don't need to, but you know, there it is. And we'll rest up here and we'll probably level up. Actually, damn, I shouldn't have done that. I should have seen if we had anything we can drop. Uh, sorry, not drop, use up, I should say. I've only got two souls, I might as well just use them up while we've got them, why not? Not even quite sure what we need to get to to level up. Probably won't even have enough for two. Oh damn, way out. Well, anyway, we're going to put that vitality to ten. We're probably going to hit, um, probably try to get that to maybe 15 because that seems like a good like a good round number before we maybe 20 we'll see how we go oh we'll see how we go through the thing but anyway we're up one i know there's a lot of our uh, souls we're carrying right now but you know things like this happen well anyway guys we're going to leave it there so please if you are enjoying my series so far remember to smash the like button to support my channel and if you're new Feel free to subscribe because I love to hear your feedback and your comments in the comments section below. I am your host, Noisy Boy. Thanks for coming on by, and as always, guys, stay noisy. <laughs>